Welcome to Jetski Space. In this video, we're playing Satisfactory and we're going to look at planning. Similar to my last video about planning, I recommend that if you're new to this game, just have fun. Don't plan. Dive in and discover things as you go. But if you're ready for something bigger, planning ahead is sure to serve you well. With that out of the way, let me show you an excellent tool for planning a satisfactory factory. Introducing the Satisfactory Calculator Interactive Map. I'll put a link to it in the description. This great resource lets you do a number of things. You can check where the spawn locations are to know where you'll appear when you start a new game. You can also see exactly where the world border is. Going beyond it is unwise. Or have you ever wondered where all the caves are located? But the real strength of this map when it comes to planning is the ability to see resource nodes. Here is where you can find bauxite. And here, crude oil. You can also get an idea of heights by switching to the game map. Brighter is higher and I've highlighted the highest point in the game. So how did I use this map to plan my next playthrough? Well, in my previous planning video, I worked out just how much ore I'd need. To recap, those numbers at the bottom mean I need 11 pure iron nodes, 6 pure and 1 impure copper node, etc. for a total of 30 ore nodes. That's a fair bit of mining. Where can it all be found? Well, the interactive map answered that question for me. And I chose the desert. I planned the nodes I'd use by starting with rarer ores and ores I didn't need as much of. In the desert, quartz can only be found in one place and there are only two spots for sulfur. I chose the southern node. Deuterium was next, followed by limestone. Then, I added coal. And I ended up having to use nine copper nodes, since there are only three pure nodes in the desert. The big one was always going to be iron. And here, I tried to save some space in the desert for building. Seeing it all on the map like this, 30 ore nodes begins to look like quite the ambitious number. We're going to squeeze this desert dry. Well, dry. Err. And here's the area I have to work with if I need space to build. I'm considering smelting all these ores here in the desert. But ores aren't everything. I also need more than 3000 crude oil. And in the desert, there is exactly zero. So, back to the map I went. And my planning took me west. From the desert over the mountain range I went to where you can find the most crude oil in the game. And while looking around there, I had an idea for where I could build my somewhat mega factory. What looks like water to some seems like an awful lot of flat building space to me. And there we have it. A plan. From my previous planning, I've worked out exactly what buildings I'll need. And how many. As well as where to start. I've also identified all the resource nodes I'll need to get me there. And in doing all this, I've had some ideas about where I might smelt all the ores I mine, as well as where to actually build my factory. Now, I can relax, get in game, and start creating. Because I now have a plan, I can focus more on design and efficiency. And with a bit of luck, avoid the dreaded spaghetti. We'll see. Let me know in the comments if you found my outlining my planning thought process useful. And if you'd like more content like this, like this video and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and yes, I am a robot. And this is Jetski Space.